Hello, my name is Richard and I'm an obstetrician from the Norfolk and Norwich University Hospital and I'm going to talk to you about recognising the symptoms of meningitis. Meningitis is an inflammation of the membranes that protect the brain and spinal cord. It can be caused either by a virus or bacteria. The bacterial version is the most dangerous and may result in a condition called septicemia, which is a life-threatening disease if it's not detected early. That's why it's so important for mums to be clued up on the signs. There are a lot of them to look for and I'll go through each of them slowly. The following are common symptoms but they may not all be present. Some of the symptoms may not appear at all but if any of them do or you're worried seek medical help straight away. You'll also need to be on alert for a fever but with cold hands and feet. A refusal to feed, vomiting, Excessive drowsiness, floppy limbs and unresponsiveness, convulsions or fits, a strange sounding crying or a high pitched moaning cry, general irritability and not wanting to be handled or picked up, rapid or obstructed breathing, a vacant staring expression, blotchy pale or blue tinged skin, a dislike of bright lights and a stiff neck, a tense or bulging soft spot on the head, Marks that look like bruises and a pinprick rash that doesn't disappear when you press it with a glass. Diarrhea and a stiff body with jerky movements. Remember, the telltale rash won't always appear and if it does, it's usually after other symptoms become noticeable. If you are worried that your baby might have meningitis, then get help fast. Call 999 or get to your doctor or hospital straight away. The quicker a baby is treated, the better. They'll then undergo blood tests and possibly a lumbar puncture where a sample of spinal fluid is taken to check for bacteria. You need to trust your instincts. You know your baby better than anybody.